Hi, Eric from Arise. I'm excited to show you Arise Copilot, the first AI assistant for AI. It's an intelligent, integrated solution built specifically for improving AI applications, including features like prompt optimization, evaluation creation, and debugging analysis. It's built with all of the expertise we develop helping our customers deploy world-class models and applications in a production. Let's dive into a demo. Here's our tracing page where we can see traces for a chatbot built on top of Arise Docs, and we can see this first query has an hallucination. So let's see why that is. So the input question is about how do I use the SDK to upload a ranking model? It lists a set of seven instructions, but the evaluation explains that the reference text does not provide any specific instructions. And then we can look at the retrieved documents and there is nothing about uploading a ranking model here. There's just information about what a ranking model is. So we can go to the prompt playground to try a different prompt. And normally you would need to rewrite and iterate on your prompt by hand. We have Arise AI's trusted copilot to help you op optimize your prompt. Let's, let's ask it to hallucinate less. So on the left, we have the original prompt. And on the right, our copilot will augment your existing prompt with exact instructions on how to reduce hallucination. Uh, we'll also provide the reasoning of why we made the change. And we've added this line here, number three. If the answer is not in the context, prefer to answer, I don't know. So let's, let's test it against the exact data point that failed to see if it helped with hallucination. And it, it does. And now it offers the more correct answer to say, I don't know. And Copilot did most of the work here. We also have our Copilot baked into our new tasks feature. Tasks run automated actions on your behalf, such as evaluations, so you don't have to manage them yourself. And we have pre-built evaluation templates that you can use here for hallucination, Q&A, and user frustration. But we can also ask Arise AI to build a custom task evaluation based on what you're trying to evaluate. So let's create evaluation based on the friendliness of the response. So it ought to generate these eval by following best practices from our own research on how to write effective, reliable evaluations that work. Here's an example where we are checking the friendliness of the response. We are pulling in the output value as a response and the prompt as the input value, and then uh, grading it on whether it's friendly or unfriendly. And so you can, you can continue to ask adjustments uh, based off of the type of eval you want to run. And now you no longer have to run evals in code. We can now run them on your behalf and write your evals on your behalf. In other cases throughout our product, you can use the Copilot icon on the bottom right section of your screen, and we offer suggested actions to get started such as summarize my evaluation metrics over here. You can type forward slash for all the different commands that we offer. And we're going to be building more and more skills over time. You can also ask any question that you'd like. We can use the chat to debug a trace and ask about a specific trace ID. So for this specific case, we're gonna ask what exactly went wrong with the retrieval step for this trace. The chatbot suggests a few different things. One is that the current chunks mention a specific model, but it is missing the information about how to use the SDK to upload a rank ranking model. So the recommendations here is either you improve the retrieval step so the right documents are uh, the right documents are fetched, uh, as well as putting information in the vector database. Uh, and second is increasing K so that way maybe it missed the documents and it could have retrieved the right documents but uh, the top two results didn't actually match. Copilot also works on non-LM models as well. So here is a fraud detection machine learning model, and you can ask it for high-level insights and data analysis of what exactly is going on with my fraud detection model. Here's an example where it it notices that the false negative rate spikes to 73% uh, from June 22nd to June 25th, which matches this graph over here. And that is a su substantial performance degradation. And then it's going to come up with what exactly are the, the categories or features as to why that could be the case. So let's ask, why is the false negative rate high?
So it, it correctly identifies. It correctly identifies the the increase in false negative rate, and then it also identifies a big cause of the drop, which is that scan meds is one of the slices that really increases false negative rate. There's a few other factors that could cause the drop, which is a low FICO score, uh, the different type of home ownerships, the merchant risk score as well. And then it, it looks through the Arise data sets to figure out which of the factors are actually contributing to that negative score. Um, you can see for scam meds, the contribution was much larger during the specific period versus the other factors or features like merchant risk score or home ownership. So in order to improve on this model, we would need to be able to detect that scam meds is actually one of the, the specific slices that is greatly contributing to false negative rate. And then you can see in the chart, uh, it's about 90% uh, false negative rate when scam meds is the only merchant. So it, it was able to correctly identify that that was the primary driver of the performance degradation. So in the future, we're going to be adding more skills and capabilities, such as building golden data sets and uh, analyzing your embeddings, generating synthetic data, troubleshooting your data ingestion, creating guardrails, dashboards, and more. We can't wait to see what you build with our Rise Copilot. Happy building.